Hey guys, we just saw the gameplay trailer for Defiance Apex Legends Season 12. So here are some things that you might have missed and let's cover everything that we saw in the trailer. Now the first thing that everyone is excited for and my myself is definitely 110% is going to be the mythic skin for Bloodhound. So you can, you can see it right here. It looks incredible. Now I want to uh, drag your attention to, to just two things. A how awesome the skin looks, okay? How awesome that skin looks. It looks unreal. However, down here, gameplay required to unlock tier two or higher versions of and finishers for prestige skins. So prestige skins, what the hell does that even mean? Does that mean that we're gonna get some lovely looking, you know, uh, at the end of every tier you can, go back to level one and you've prestige and then each legend gets their own skin are we going to have prestiges in apex legends like we've seen in other games like call of duty we really don't know but we do in fact see the other the other skins so what you just saw there was actually level one this is level two now you can see a few color changes some things going on not too much to change but what i can show you is very quickly is Prestige number three. Now, prestige number three is the noticeable difference here. So, as you can see right here on the screen, this is what it looks like. So, the up here on the shoulder, you have a piece that comes up and and does some finishing move on the enemy. So, depending on how well you play, whether or not it's kills you get, whether or not it's damage you deal, whether or not it's it's as I said, prestiging like in Call of Duty, um, we will probably not know until the skin comes out in what eight days, seven days. This has been something I've been very excited for because skins have always been pretty basic as of late. You know, they're, they because there has been such epic skins in the past, to make new skins, it just they just have not been as fun um, as the old skins have been. You know, it just hasn't been as fun. So now we're going to take a little look into Maggie and see a little bit about Maggie. Now, as a quote line, I'm going to make this world bleed. Um, I love her already off the bat. She looks awesome. Her character design is so cool. But one thing I cannot wait for is her interactions with the other legends. Um, she's 55, but let's, let's get on to the things we really care about. So we got her tactical ability called Riot Drill. This fires a drill that burns enemies through obstacles. So we saw that in the trailer. It went into Rampart Shield and shot through the other side. It can go into buildings as well. Now, bear that in mind. We saw that in the Defiance launch trailer, that it goes into the wall of the building in Olympus, the PS5 looking thing, and it shoots in. It, 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 unreal. It looks bloody great. Now, Warlord's Eye, her passive ability, Temporary highlights enemies that she's damaged and she moves faster with a shotgun. That is probably one of the coolest passives we have had in the most recent Legends. I am so pumped for this because there's two things that I hate and two things that I love. Getting shot in the face with a shotgun, getting shot very quickly in the face with a shotgun. So I can't wait to get annoyed with that. I can't wait to be annoying with it, you know? And then her ultimate ability, Wrecking Ball. Now, throw a ball that releases speed boosting pads and detonates near enemies. L listen, we saw the trailer, we all know how it works, but I can't wait to see what some high-level players do with this and some ways that we can kind of see. Now, you can run very quickly behind it by the sounds of it as if you're streamlined. Um, but anyway, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to see what I'm going to assume is the Battle Pass skins and some of the, not, not the Battle Pass skins, sorry, the skins that she's going to have off the bat. One of these will be the launch bundle. That to me doesn't look very launch bundly. Um, that looks cool, but again, I don't think that looks very launch bundly either. This is probably what I'm going to think is the launch bundle. Now, four is four looks f uh, cool. Five is pretty much just four, right? Yeah, four, four and five are the same skin. Um, this is the only, so that looks similar to that. Um, you know, that is the only one that looks different enough to maybe be the launch trailer bundle. Um, I cannot wait. She's being compared to Ash Bangle or Bloodhound. I really cannot wait to really give Mad Maggie a try. Um, we do also, we, we, we did, sorry, however, also get the um, first look at the reactive Hemlock skin, which is going to be the level 100 and level 110 on the Battle Pass. I'm really pumped for this. I'm not going to lie. It looks like it's going to be super, super awesome. Um, the Loba skin also looks really cool too. 
but as a fact the hemlock skin is really really dope um we're gonna see it reading it's got a little clock i think if we carry on watching the trailer right now um you can see it very briefly here and she's holding it now we get a little clock down here which i assume will go round depending on the kills and then obviously reacts and you can see right here on my, on my cursor you can see the actual um similar to, similar to the vault you can see it kind of like flickering as well um, now the battle pass brings some lovely skins, but before we talk about skins, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, anniversary skin. So obviously it's the third anniversary of Apex Legends. Wonderful, wonderful Apex Legends. These are the first ones that we have seen. Now we've got Revenant, we've got Caustic, and we've got Gibraltar. Now these skins look awesome. I've already got the um, the uh, Caustic skin, although I don't play Caustic, but Revenant's one looks really cool. Gibraltar I can give or leave. It looks like a few of his other skins but the Revenant skin here looks really really awesome i love the little booties he's got on down here as well with the with the with the little fur uh i am really loving this um but i have got the other ones to quickly show you um so that, let's just have a little quick breeze th uh, breeze through these right now we've got bangalore we've got loba and we've got valkyrie valkyries looks really bizarre i'm not a fan of this i'm not gonna lie loba's i think loba gets done the worst in skins um apart from horizon um bangalore skins always look dope uh it looks cool uh she has other cooler skins in my opinion but um i'm not too sure what we're going to be getting with the anniversary event i could assume we're going to get crypto uh heirloom but I don't know. Maybe we're not going to get his heirloom until later on in the season. And we're going to be focusing on the mythic, the mythic skin that was shown by Bloodhound. Um, so we got we, we got two more of these these to look through. Um, so this is the Watson, which is incredibly cursed, but I love it. We've got the Crypto and the Mirage. Now, I, I really like the Mirage skin. I, I think it's a really nice design. I think these three match up really well. Um, I would have liked to maybe they match up enemy uh, teams that are quite used together because then it would be quite cool to drop as a team and all have the same skin. Um, but anyway, that's that's Watson, Crypto uh, and Mirage. And the final one we have uh, is of uh, Bloodhound, uh, Maggie and Fuse. Now, we do know that Fuse and Maggie, also, obviously they have a history, as you guys know. So I'm excited to see their interactions, but I'm loving these skins. The Bloodhound one looks looks incredible. The Mad Maggie one looks okay. Fuse's ones, obviously, we've, we've, we've had is very mediocre, but the Bloodhound one looks super, super awesome. But we've got one more thing to talk about, guys. And this is the new LTM uh, limited time mode called Control. Now, we're going to just quickly braze through this because uh, if you guys want to read it, you guys know where to go. This is the the, the EA site. But I want to just show you, few, uh, sh uh, show you guys a few things. So it is 9v9. When you join in, you spawn in with, with two of your teammates that you pick in the lobby. And then when you join, you basically join with other teams of three. I think this is a wasted opportunity to be able to you know go into a battle with eight of your friends but they're keeping it as just two of your friends for now maybe if it becomes a full-time mode we'll get that but this is something that i thought was really cool now this is a screenshot of what it looks like so you can select your spawn depending on what you have currently whether you've got a b or c you can change your loadout now right now they're looking at a rampage and a mozambique so maybe you can pick a secondary pistol and then a you know a main gun uh no matter what that be and um, then you've got these scoring points at the uh, at the top well. one thing that i had a quick read through and it doesn't say on here is how quickly um how quickly you respawn back um, but who knows? So this is the loadout screen, very similar to the Winter Express. Um, so I was hoping more for a, you pick your own loadout, so you can pick exactly what you want. But I guess it keeps the it keeps it fresh. I I, I assume that's that's their whole game plan. Similar to arenas, you you can change the 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 scope around, um, which not many people know about. But I am super pumped for this. You can see the Crayberry is in play here. So we are going to be getting some heirloom guns. So we're going to be getting the Kraber, uh, the Alternator. Um, who knows? Who knows what we're going to get? I can only assume that the Alternator is going to stay in the care package because they've used it alongside the Kraber. Or maybe it's going to come out. We we have no idea what is going to come out of the care package and what is going to go in. Um, but this is what it kind of looks like as, as I've shown the screen. So you can choose whereabouts you spawn. Now you get a rating as you can see here like a little uh uh rating for, for 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 spawning at these tiers which i is to push you to play more like a team player 
And again, as you guys know, the the idea of the game is to basically get all the control points similar to domination uh for example in call of duty now scrolling down uh, this just clarifies that you can have the same legend two ashes uh two maggies uh, you can have the same legend we saw on the trailer the two pathfinders swinging through that spider-man super super awesome uh and then again so this is what it looks like capturing the zone um i think it's i think it's a really cool uh, uh limited time mode to try out i'm really excited for it maps obviously we don't know what we've got so far we we, we do have uh the kings the uh, kings canyon the storm point uh lovely lovely um uh barometer barometer and then we have obviously the hammer labs on uh, olympus but i don't know what olympus is going to be like depending on how it's destroyed um i'm super excited it looks like we're going to be getting control specific challenges and badges uh which is always great because then obviously you always have those depending on going forward in your apex career now guys we've covered everything from the control mode to the anniversary skins um the battle pass we won't know any of the skins now until it inevitably comes out but in, in terms of the anniversary skins they are really awesome and i'm really excited to see what they what they choose i i really hope bangle will get some love this season because i feel like she never gets any skins um, but guys, I would love to know what you guys think about this this uh, gameplay trailer. A lot to chomp into, a lot of content coming this season. Um, so let, uh, let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, I'll see you later.